So this video is about the build of this uh, bat listening device. I've had this one uh, quite a few years um, and just the last couple of weeks my dad has been borrowing it and uh, he said he wanted one. So it's actually a kit that you buy and I checked online and it's still actually available from Magenta. Um, so I've uh, bought a couple more kits so he can have one and my nephew can have one as well. So we'll just go through the build of this following the instructions you get with the kit. So this is all the bits of the kit. Uh, you get all the bits needed to make this device and the instructions are quite clear and it says start with the resistors. So we're going to fold those up, put them in the PCB and uh, solder those in place. PCB looks really nice as well marked out. Now the way I do the resistors is uh, I use like a 2 mil drill and I just bend the legs around the drill just to keep them nicely, uh, nice, give a nice radius. That way you won't snap the legs off. Uh, this wasn't really going to be a soldering video, but just so in case you don't know, what we're going to use is a tin soldering iron, and we're going to put the soldering iron tip onto both the lead and the pad, and then once we've got a little bit of heat in, we're then going to feed in solder. So here we go. One, two, solder, another second, then come off. And I'll show you again. One, two, solder, off. So once you've got all the resistors in place, you use one of the legs to do this link here. And then the next items to be installed are the chip holders. Uh, you should try and keep the chip holder the right way round. So you can see there's a notch here and that lines up with the uh, pattern on the PCB. The same with this one that's there and the other one's up the other way there. So once you've got the chip holders in, you then got to do the two transistors. Uh, both transistors are the same so it doesn't matter which one goes where you just follow the shape and also you should try to mount them so they're not sticking up too high hopefully you can see that so we're now on to the capacitors I think the easiest ones to do first are the four of the one nanofarads so that's all the uh, simple capacitors done you can see I've done the four one nanos and then I've put the two tens and 247. So you can tell the difference because it says 10 NK 100 and 47 NK 100. So now it's time for the electrolytics. Obviously they are polarized, it's important you get them a right way round. So I've finished all the capacitors now, the two electrolytics have gone in here. Obviously again make sure you get them the right way round. You can see the plus marking on the PCB and the minus band on the capacitor body. The other one I forgot to do was this one up here which is C10. Um, while I'm recording I'll just point out on the case this post here has to be cut out to make way for the speaker which goes in this area. Okay the next bit to do is mount the two pots, uh, the pot this side and the pot with a switch on this side. Uh, mount them from this side, the component side and then put the nuts and washers on this side. Uh, interestingly one of the kits I had we couldn't get the uh, nuts to do up and it turns out if you can believe it that nut is the wrong size so thankfully I had two spare nuts from uh, two pots that I've got which happen to be the same type it's such a slight difference you couldn't really even tell so once those are mounted in position you then solder the uh, six pads so here you can see we've twisted a couple of pairs of wires together and I've mounted one pair onto the speaker, blacks on this side and then onto the jack here, headphone jack and it says put one onto the end terminal nearest the thread and join the other two together hopefully you can see that, yeah I think you can just about see that so I've connected both the speaker and the jack to the PCB and the other connector is the battery connector the negative terminal goes as marked on battery neg. The positive goes to one of the switch terminals here and then you use a little piece of wire going from the other terminal to where it shows in the PCB. So I've now fitted the little red LED and it's quite awkward to fit this. Uh, I actually suggest you solder it in afterwards but that would be quite awkward as well. So you leave a good long loop twist it through because so then you can push it back and forward a bit you can see I've soldered it just on these two pads here uh, so the last bit to do on the PCB is a little ultrasonic microphone so I've stripped both ends of this cable 
and tin the wires. So on this little device you do actually have a positive and a negative. You can see it just cast into the plastic underneath. And on the PCB, uh, one of the pads, you can see it actually in the sunlight here, the one on the outside here is uh, grounded. So that's where the uh, braid or the outer core is going to go and we'll call that negative. So we're now putting the uh, kit together in the case. The first thing I've done is I've mounted the speaker and I've used two little bits of double-sided tape here. Not the foam stuff, just normal double-sided tape. I put it centrally and I've put it so the cable goes upwards. We've got quite a lot of space here so I think it's best for the cables to go up. I've temporarily put a piece of foam tape here because you don't want the uh, back of the speaker touching the back of the PCB because that will cause a short. The other thing we've had to do is for the jack headphone jack we've had to drill a hole there that wasn't in the case so now we've got the speaker in we're going to try and carefully mount this and to mount it you've got to put a spacer on each one of these holes uh, it's a bit fiddly it suggests you do it upside down okay so this is the second attempt to mount this uh, board in the case it turned out to be quite fiddly so what I've done um, you can see I put a little bit of double-sided tape in um, and it's uh, where the hole is I've just put a uh, blade through so the uh, screw fits nicely through there and is captive and when you put the plastic tube on that also sticks in place so it should have a bit of luck this time so the double sided tape worked quite well um, just be wary that when you put the board in you've got to get that LED in the hole I'm not too worried about it poking all the way through um, but obviously it needs to line up. I can push that through a bit further now. So I've uh, finished putting the whole uh, assembly together. Uh, I struggled with the uh, headphone jack here. I ended up using hot glue to put that in place. The threaded section isn't long enough to go through the case and get the nut on. Once I got it glued on I could then um, use a soldering iron on top of the nut here to let that melt slightly into the case. Not really that good. Um, so everything's in place, the leads are nicely rooted and the last thing was to put the three chips in. Again make sure you get them the right way around. Uh, this one here, the little uh, cut out there is correct. It's the only one that faces down, the other ones face up and you don't have a cut out here, you have a, a little dot which I believe you can see in the picture here. Okay so this is the unit complete. I've put a battery in and obviously it's quite hard to test. You should get a, a bit of a hum from the speaker depending on the volume. The other thing they say that if you take some keys you should get some ultrasonic sound from keys. So there you go, it seems to work. Um, I get quite a lot of bats around here so I'll try that tonight. So overall it's quite a good kit, the only thing I didn't really like was the uh, headphone socket which didn't really fit and a couple of the uh, nuts that provided for the pots were actually the incorrect size on one of the kits. Otherwise it's been okay. So hopefully this will be the uh, final test. It's uh, starting to get dark and I can see a few bats about. don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, see them on the camera. I think we just did actually. But you can definitely hear them. Yes. We had an obliging bat fly behind us. It's flying all the way around us. It's lovely. Didn't think they were going to do it this quick, but there you go. And gone again. <laughs>